So I'm starting off this look with two pieces of scotch tape and I'm just applying the, those two pieces on the outer corner of my eye and this is just going to help the eyeshadows apply nicely. Then I'm taking this Urban Decay primer potion in the name Sin. I totally was hesitant on getting this just for that name but I think it's a beautiful eyeshadow primer and it'll it kind of makes like uh, a very glowy look which is kind of like what Beyonce was using at the gala then i'm taking this mac uninterrupted eyeshadow and i am going to place that on the crease with this zoeva 228 brush i like this brush because it's it has like a point at the end and so it applies the eyeshadow perfectly on the crease and just defines it and makes it look nice and flawless then I'm taking that 221 brush and just going to go around the edges of that eyeshadow and just make it look seamless and nice. Then I'm taking Chickadee by Makeup Geek and this is just a beautiful orange color and I feel like Beyonce was wearing this color too so I'm just going a color similar to this because obviously she probably wasn't wearing Makeup Geek or maybe she was who knows. But I'm just applying this with this flat shader brush on my lid and I'm just kind of um, going to make those two eyeshadow colors come together. Then I'm taking this blending brush with no product and kind of um, making both eyeshadows seamless and nice and come together. Then I'm taking that color Mermaid by Makeup Geek because I feel like she had some blue to her look so I'm just going to add a little bit of that with this pointed brush it's like a winged eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of product I'm gonna be applying a winged eyeliner so I'm kind of putting a little bit of that um, so it kind of pops underneath that winged liner then I'm taking the scotch tape off and I'm ready to go start my face so I'm taking this Smashbox pore minimizing primer and I'm applying it on the areas where my pores are big. Then I'm taking this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and just kind of getting rid of that acne scar that I have there. It's that time of the month so I'm just going to apply that on that area before I apply my foundation. This is just going to help it the foundation applies smoother so I'm taking the Makeup Forever in N115 and this Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in the number two this is just going to make the foundation more glowy and sheer and nice looks just like what Beyonce was wearing where she was very very glowy all over her face then I'm taking this concealer flat brush and I'm just applying that MAC concealer that I showed you previously on the areas that the light would fall down on my face. She did have a lot of highlight highlighting showing on her face. And then I'm taking this 142 concealer brush or concealer buffer brush and I'm just buffing that concealer out and making it look really nice and seamless and flawless. Then I'm taking my MAC MSF in the color light and I'm applying this with a 105 powder brush by Zoeva and I'm applying this on the areas that I didn't apply the concealer, just the foundation. And then I'm taking, of course, my Rimmel Stay Matte and I'm taking this brush, which I, which I didn't mention, I didn't um, do like a small picture of it, but it's the 101 Luxie Face Definer brush and I am just taking that and applying it to set my concealer. Then I'm going in with bronzer. Beyonce had a bunch of bronzer on and I'm taking this Jane by Jane and it's called Inspire all around 
my cheekbones and the and my forehead and pretty much all around the areas that I want to define. I'm using a Zoeva brush and this one is the 103. All product names will be down in the description box below. All the brushes I used were Zoeva and I'm going to list them so you can see. Then I'm taking this beautiful highlighter that is from ColourPop. It's called Butterfly Beach and it's a really pretty highlight and I think that this is kind of like very very close to the color that she was using for her highlight. And then I'm taking Becca's Opal to set that with a 105 highlighter brush. Both these colors look very similar. Um, one's powder and then the other one is just, you know how the color ColourPop products are. They're not really powder, I mean they turn to powder I guess you can say, but they're a little bit more wet. And look how beautiful this highlight is, I love it. It's just, both of them together just create a, a really pretty sheer sheen. Then I'm taking this MAC blush, it's called Melba, and it's very close to the blush that she was wearing. It's kind of like this rosy, mauve looking blush, and I'm taking this uh, brush by Zoeva and just applying it to my cheekbones to kind of give it a flush of color and I'm gonna finish off my eyes so I applied this off camera I'm using as I always use the physicians formula eye booster and I'm taking this 226 smudger breath smudger breath <laughs> smudger brush and I am applying that on my lower lash and I'm applying those two colors which was the chickadee and the uninterrupted by Mac on my lower lash line. Then I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to apply this with a 231 petite crease brush. It's very small and I'm just going to use this for the inner corner highlight and under my brow bone. Then I'm going in with my Too Faced Lash Gasm. Love this mascara my favorite and I'm curling my lashes and then applying this before I prep my eyes for the lashes that I'm going to be using which are by Morphe brushes they're the WSP wispies and I'm going to be using my house of lashes glue and I did it off camera so now the lashes are applied and I am going over that with the mascara again so both of the both my normal eyelashes and the wispies just look nice together. Then I'm taking these two colors. Beyonce was wearing a really pretty pink lip. And I'm taking this ColourPop Lippy Stick in Westy. And this MAC Dazzle Glass in Sugar Rimmed. So now on to the hair. I, I applied really um, nice dangling earrings. She was wearing like these really pretty amber looking earrings but I don't have a pair like that but this will do then I'm using a brush to brush my hair out before I bring it up into that high ponytail that she was wearing the brush I'm using is by Conair um, I didn't have another one because all my brushes are lost when you have a kid you don't know what they do with them but they grab them and they bring them to a different place but yeah, so I'm using this Conair brush, this will have to do, and I'm taking this, what is this, this Professional by Nature's Therapy Freezing Hairspray, it's extra firm hold, and I love this hairspray because it doesn't make it hard at all, it's soft, but it keeps the, the hair together, like it doesn't fall apart or anything like that, it looks really nice, and it's not hard at all, so, loving it. Then you're just going to want to brush from the back all the way up because that's where the hair um, will support this high ponytail. So brush from the back up, back up, and bring that ponytail up. And then you're going to get a 
a hair tie <laughs> and just bring that hair together and there you go and then Beyonce had a piece of her hair around that ponytail so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a piece from the side of that which I'll show you in a second. I'm hairspraying all around so it stays up and doesn't fall off. Of course, I think Beyonce had hair extensions because I think her hair is shorter. But if you have long hair like I do, then it'll, it'll be fine. It'll work. So like I said, I'm taking that hair and I'm going under because if I go over, I feel like you'll lose a big thick part of that hair that's going to go around. Then you're going to take a bobby pin and you're going to push it through inside of that round part and hold that little piece together. And then I'm taking this hair wand. I had this in one of my previous videos by TJ Maxx. I bought it for only $19.99 and it heats up so quickly. And I'm just going to grab pieces of the hairs. I'm grabbing like four pieces from that ponytail and I'm doing it away from the hair. Of course you can do it like this but in the next few pieces you'll see that I have the wand upward instead of downward like that. So grab another piece of hair and then you're going to get the wand and put it behind that hair and make the hair go away from your face. I'm a rebel, so I don't use my glove, but glove, but use your gloves if you kind of don't have um, patience, I guess, to do it, and you might get burned, use your gloves. So yeah, I'm taking just four pieces of hair away from my face, and I am making those curls. Then I'm going back f um, to the one that I did in the beginning and doing the same thing away from my face with the hair curler on the top part. Then just grabbing some hairspray and spraying that so it does so the curls stay in place the whole day. And then that's it. That's your finished look. Super easy, right? So yeah, this is your look, you guys. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Oh, and then I forgot to use my Urban Decay, Decay Primer. Um, and I sprayed my face so my makeup stays in place all day. Perfect. So there you go, guys. Hope you like it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't you never lie?